Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will show you how we can recover solvent from the liquid extract obtained after the Soxlet extraction of any crude drug. Means, second part of Soxlet extraction that is solvent recovery method. And after recovering solvent from the extract, the extract become concentrated. This part is also available in Hindi explanation. Link is given in the description box. In the first part, we practically demonstrated the parts and the extraction procedure by Soxlet apparatus in detail, both in English and Hindi explanation. Link of these videos is given in the description box. So before starting the solvent recovery method, first of all, let's know how we can perform the extraction of crude drug by using Soxlet apparatus in the fast forward mode. You can skip this video to 4 minutes 2 seconds to directly view the solvent recovery method. For the extraction, first of all, we have to prepare thimble by using filter paper or by using miscellane cloth or ready-made thimbles are available in the market made of cellulose. Here we have prepared thimble by using filter paper and then transfer coarsely powder crude drug into the thimble. After this, transfer it into the Soxlet extractor. After this, keep round bottom flask in the heating mantle and then add glass beads to avoid the bumping. Bumping means to prevent the solvent reverting back from the round bottom flask to the Soxlet extractor. Next, fit the Soxlet extractor after greasing to the round bottom flask and clamp it properly and after this fit condenser to the top of the Soxlet extractor after greasing and then attach inlet and outlet pipe and then add solvent into the Soxlet extractor through the funnel as you can see in the video. Then the solvent passes from the inside tube of condenser to the Soxlet extractor where we have filled the crude drug. When the solvent level in the siphon tube reaches at the tip of it, then the solvent comes down means comes back again to the round bottom flask and this is called one cycle. And just like this we have to add solvent to the Soxlet apparatus to run about two and a half cycle so that sufficient solvent present in the round bottom flask before we start the extraction on the water source and on the heating mantle and set the temperature to the boiling point of the solvent. Here on heating, solvent in the round button flask boils and evaporates and passes through the side tube of the Soxlet extractor. And then this solvent vapor passes to the condenser and then in the condenser, the solvent vapor condenses into the liquid and drop by drop fall back into the Soxlet extractor where the crude drug is present. And this time, the solvent extracts out and solubilizes the chemical constituent present in the crude drug. Here you can see the solvent containing the chemical constituent present in the siphon tube. And when this liquid containing chemical constituent in the siphon tube reaches the tip of it, means when the level of liquid reaches to the tip of the siphon tube, then the extract means solvent containing chemical constituents comes back to the run button flask from the extractor. And this cycle repeats again and again and the chemical constituent extracted out from the crude drug during its cycle. We have to continue the process of extraction means we have to continuously run the cycle till complete extraction of the crude drug. After extraction process completed, you can see a liquid extract in the round button flask obtained after the extraction of the crude drug. Next, we have to concentrate this liquid extract by evaporating the solvent. And if we directly evaporate the solvent on heating mantle, on the water bath or hot plate in open vessel, then there will be loss of solvent in the air and if we want to prevent this solvent loss or you can say if we want to collect the solvent means recover the solvent vaporizing during the concentration of the extract then it is possible by using the same Soxlet assembly. We can recover the solvent very easily. For this take a Soxlet assembly and set the Soxlet assembly as before but this time we have to keep the Soxlet extractor empty. You can see here Soxlet extractor is empty here and below we have to attach the round bottom flask containing liquid extract means containing solvent which we want to recover so that we will get concentrated extract and other setup will be the same as before we have set up for the extraction. On boiling the solvent evaporates and passes through the side tube to the condenser. Condenser consists of two tubes 
inner tube and the outer tube. In the outer tube, water circulates. Through the inlet, cold water comes into the outer tube and from the outlet, hot water comes out the condenser. In the inner tube of the condenser, the solvent vapor passes inside it and when the solvent vapor passes inside the inner tube of the condenser, then the condenser condenses this solvent vapor into liquid form and then drop by drop falls down into the Soxlet extractor. Here you can see drop by drop the solvent start to collect inside the Soxlet extractor and this is the recovered solvent and eventually extract in the round bottom flask concentrated. You can see here slowly the level of the solvent inside the extractor increases and simultaneously the level of the solvent inside the siphon tube also increases. And when the level of the recovered solvent inside the siphon tube reaches below the tip of the siphon tube, then we have to stop the process because if the recovered solvent level inside the siphon tube reaches to the tip of the siphon tube, then all the recovered solvent present in the Soxlate extractor reverts back into the round button flask. So, to avoid this, we have to carefully observe the level of the solvent inside the siphon tube. So, here you can see that the level of the solvent reaches just below the tip of the siphon tube. Then, turn off the heating mantle. Allow the Soxlet extractor to cool down and then transfer the recovered solvent in the container. Here we are immediately transferring the recovered solvent into the beaker. That's why we have used cotton cloth to transfer the solvent from the hot extractor into the beaker. So here you can see this is the recovered solvent in the beaker. Recovered solvent means the solvent which we have used for the extraction of the crude drug at the starting and after extraction the solvent which we have recovered means get back by using the same Soxlet assembly and our liquid extract become concentrated because we have recovered the solvent from it. And if liquid extract is still in the diluted form means still it contain large amount of the solvent after first recovery then again set the round button flask containing extract in the Soxlet assembly recover the solvent again with the same process till we get the concentrated extract again what happened solvent from the liquid extract evaporate condenses into liquid form in the condenser and then collect back into the Soxlet extractor and then we collect this recovered solvent from the extractor so this is how we can recover the solvent from the liquid extract obtained after the Soxlet extraction of the crude drug. Thank you very much for watching this video.